And here in Birmingham, we're starting to see the back edge of this thunderstorm that just moved through downtown. Now we can actually see the outlines of the buildings there, but heavy rainfall continues to move through southern Jefferson and northern Shelby counties, and now starting to nose its way into western Tuscaloosa County. Temperatures have dropped to 75 degrees. I want to get right to the maps. Here's that heavy rain right now moving from uh, anywhere from Maxine up through Oakman, and this is in Walker County. This will continue making its way into northern Tuscaloosa County next up Wiley, Sandtown and Windham Springs as we look towards uh, Brent up towards West Blockton. This is that heavy, heavy rainfall that moved out of Shelby County. This is creating pockets of heavy rainfall. Here's the good news with this particular system. A lot of rain, yes, but it's on the move. Unlike when it was back in Shelby County, it just sat over Alabaster and it really just rained itself out from Pelham down towards Calera, which caused some problems on the roadway. Right now to our east, not dealing with as much of a issue, but we still have some of those aerial flood advisories. That's primarily for the creeks, the streams, those small waterways where water is overflowing the banks. You can't get that uh, quite get that good runoff right now. Here's the big snapshot. Gadsden, those pockets of rain near Pell City, Moody and Springville. But this rain is moving into Tuscaloosa right now where the sky may be clear in Tuscaloosa currently, but the rain is on the way. We can see the storm clouds rolling in. Temperatures in Tuscaloosa staying in the upper 80s but it feels like 100 right now. We'll fall into the 70s overnight tonight in Tuscaloosa, but feels like temperatures tomorrow back at 107. Look at this. We are seeing that rain cooled air to our east. Temperatures are in the 70s to our west. We haven't seen the rain just yet from Fayette, Tuscaloosa, Moundville in the 90s. But even right now, it feels like 108 in Tuscaloosa. It feels like 106 in Moundville. We'll trade the rain for sunshine tomorrow back in the mid 90s. But dangerous heat is on tap through the end of the week and the start of the weekend. Please be careful outside. Take plenty of breaks and try to avoid the heat of the day being outdoors. Our next opportunity for a brief cool down will be later in the weekend into early next week.